greetings. I am Bongi Nguma and I'm an electrical engineering student at the Central University of Technology. And here is a poster for my project. And his name is the Smart Automated Lecture Room. And the inspiration behind this project um, was the enormous pr problem that South Africa is facing, which is load shedding and other related problems, such as um, the, the student safety. And I had to come up with a way to, to tackle that, that problem. And the problem statement is that um, the universities um, need lecture rooms that are effective concerning student access, energy consumption, and temperature regulation for optimum teaching and learning. And the whole purpose of the project is to maintain effective teaching and learning while promoting safety and energy efficiency of student lecture rooms. The methods, the methodology that I followed um, to come up with the solution of this, pro of this project um, was to to draft a proposal and and find appropriate um, components which are suitable for the design of the project. To also design, I also design a block diagram, a circuit diagram, and a PCB, which all helped me in the breakboarding of the project, and the flowchart of the project, which in turn in data helped me in understanding how how the how my code for the project um sh should flow and finally the construction of the physical project the block and moving on to the block diagram i in this pro project i have four main i have four main sensors which is the rfid sensor the ldr sensor ultrasonic sensor and the DHT-11. I also have um, the Arduino Uno R3, which is the motherboard um, connecting all the all the components, and it is supplied by a five volts um, USB supply. The other components that I have is the servo motor, which is um, supplied by an external power supply, five volt power supply. The relay module, um, which um, controls the LED, the LCD display, which display that um, displays the the, the the data, the which then it transmits to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi module it transmits it to to things to ThinkSpeak, and it also stores um the data there on ThinkSpeak. The schematic diagram. In the schematic diagram, um, I I represent I this in the schematic diagram. Um, I had to come up with um the types and uh, the appropriate sizes of the of the all the components, and um, I had to add um. Uh, Additional components um, to the existing project, and they are all cycled here. All all the components are connected um to the pins of the Arduino Uno R3, which is the motherboard of of um of all the of all the other components. Then moving on to the flow diagram. The flow diagram is what um helps me um understand um the the entire flow of the of of how my code should be should be flowing and we st will be starting with the initializing of the of the we starting we'll be starting with the initializing of the the project it is all um connected to the arduino uno r3 then we we firstly have the RFID sensor, which is um, responsible for mon for monitoring the, the student access. Then, if if the, the student is granted access, um, the servo 
will um, rotate 90 degrees and um, open the door for 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 students to access the, the venue and we have um, the ultrasonic sensor which acts as a ex, which is responsible for counting the number of students accessing the venue then we have um, the LTR sensor which is connected um, to the relay the relay which um, then um, light, turns light on or off we have the the dh11 which is responsible for um the temperature and humidity and all they are all um displayed on the lcd then the the wi-fi um it transmits um the data to dinspeak and it, it stores the data on it then it's the end of the the flow diagram then finally, I have pictures of um, the final working project, a physical project, um, which I will demonstrate later. Also, with um, how how the the data is um, is stored on the on this peak. Here's the demonstration of my final working project. What I have here is two tags, which this one is the unauthorized tag and the authorized tag. And I will demonstrate firstly with the unauthorized tag by tapping into the RFID sensor. As it reads on the LCD, um, access denied, which means um, the student is not um, denied, is not um, granted access since um, they are using um, um, the unauthorized um, tag. Moving along to the um, authorized tag, by repeating the same process in the LCD, it, it reads as um, authorized access, which means and the student is granted access. And um, the ultrasonic uh, will start counting the number of, student, of students are accessing the vein, as you, you see that um, it reads as one. And for, for the opening of the door, I'll repeat the same process again to demonstrate it. As you can see, as the student is granted access, uh, the servo will um, will tend to open the door, and if the the student has passed, um, it will um, close the door again. And this en environment um, displays um, a a venue where the there's um, high light intensity or where there's enough sunlight. Um, um, the, the lights will, 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 will remain um, off since um, there's high light intensity. So, and I'll, I'll, I'll also demonstrate um, how the, the fans are, are turned on and off. And they are turned on if the temperature is greater than 30 degrees, which I'll demonstrate by blowing to the DHT 11. As it reads um, on the LCD, 35 degrees, um, the fans are turned on. And if the temperature drops um, to below 30 degrees, the fans will be automatically turned off. And this is how um, energy is, is being conserved. And this is for when um, the, the, the lecture venue is um, dark or when there's not enough light intensity. Um, as I tap in the authorized card, the as the student um is entering the the venue, the lights are turned on since um there is not enough sunlight or the light intensity is too low, and by that way we are saving energy. Um, this is this is the cloud storage um for the entire project, and um the. The data is being transmitted um, to and, and, and stored um, on ThingSpeak. And the name of my channel is the Smart Automated Lecture Room as, um, as my project. And all, all, all this data, they are, they are being stored and recorded here. As you, as you can see that um, the, the first chart and the, and the second chart um, they are all 
um, controlled by the um, the DH11, the temperature and the humidity. They are being recorded um, every, as you can see that um, it says less than a minute ago, it means that they are, they are being um, re recorded um, constantly. And the, moving on to the third chart, which is um, the light intensity of the, 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 the lecture room. It is also being recorded here and also the the distance um the distance um between um the the student accessing the lecture venue and um the ultrasonic sensor and that, that is all um thank you